Hi everybody and happy Black Friday. Holidays, here we come. Can you believe it? I've got some great ways to make delicious dishes with the leftovers you've got from Thanksgiving. And really these are dishes I think that everybody in your family is going to like and they're super easy to do. I mean, take for instance these stuffed mushrooms. Who doesn't love stuffed mushrooms? With a nice weekend in front of us, you can kind of just keep them ready, keep them on hand. They make a delicious snack. Then we're going to do a delicious turkey and rice soup. And the fun thing about this soup is most of the ingredients, actually all of the ingredients, you probably can just pull out of the refrigerator from what you had for Thanksgiving. I'll show you how to do that. And then last but not least, breakfast, right? Who doesn't love that? We're going to make waffle sandwiches. And if you're not into the waffles or maybe you don't have any, we've got biscuits as a substitute with the cranberries, mashed potatoes. You're going to love them. It's all good stuff. I'm going to start out with the soup because we're going to let that percolate while we make the other things. So basically you want to have a nice size stock pot and then we're going to start with the turkey carcass. Chances are yours looks a little like mine. It's been picked over but there's still some good meat on there so it'd, it'd be a shame to throw it all out. So literally just take your pieces of turkey, stick it in there, whatever you've got left and then we're going to start adding the simple ingredients. I'm adding chicken broth. It's going to add a little bit of extra flavor. All right, you've got your turkey in there, the leftover meat. If you have any good juices left over from the turkey, use those as well. And then you just start adding ingredients. I'm gonna throw in about a cup of rice. I'm using white rice. Frankly, you could use brown. You can maybe use a little farro. Just cut back on the amount a bit because it'll be a little heartier. And then your dressing or your stuffing, whichever you like to say. But basically, take your leftover dressing Stick it in there. Any celery you might have had left over. If you served carrots for Thanksgiving, just grab them out of the fridge. If not, you can chop up a couple of carrots either way. Some onions, all chopped up. And then we've got some fresh peas. You could use frozen and put them in at the last minute if you want. I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves. In they go. And a little bit of sage. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of seasoning, and you know my favorite, the adobo. So I'm gonna add that to it as well. The turkey, keep in mind, already has a little seasoning. You'll wanna adjust the seasoning once you cook the soup at the very end. Okay, we're going to cover this, let it simmer for about 30 minutes. We'll taste it and then see if it needs to go a little further. Okay, while our delicious turkey soup is cooking, we're going to make the stuffed mushrooms. These are ready in a flash, so easy. So what I'm gonna start with, once again, leftover dressing, stick it in your bowl, and we're just going to add a couple of ingredients to it, really, a little bit of garlic, some Parmesan cheese, I've grated it up, a little bit of parsley, and then a little bit of olive oil. This is a new olive oil. I'm excited to try it because it's got a little garlic already in it. Should be good. So super easy, it comes together. The olive oil keeps everything nice and moist. And then all I'm going to do is take my mushrooms and we're just going to stuff them. Easy as that. This smells good. There's just something about cornbread dressing. I don't know about you, but I just think it reminds me of home, reminds me of my mom's dressing. All right, once we get them like we like them, we're going to pop them into a 375 degree oven. Let them cook in there for about 25 minutes. So easy. Okay, I saved a fun breakfast idea for last, and we're going to use waffles or biscuits. Just kind of depends what your family prefers. Maybe you want to use both, but I'm just using the frozen waffles out of the freezer. It's just so easy. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my waffle that I have either cooked or already toasted, and then you just take your cranberries, left over and start spreading it on the waffle. All right, so I've got my cranberries on there. You're going to take mashed potatoes, just your leftover mashed potatoes. Don't ask me why, but this combination is just so good. So we've got that on there, just like we like it. And then we take our, our turkey meat. So you're literally, it's kind of like a turkey club or something. I mean, it's just an awesome turkey breakfast sandwich. Plus, in addition to being somewhat of a carb fest, you do get your protein. So that makes it really nice as well. All right, so we've got that. We're gonna build it like that. And then if you wanna do one with the biscuit, it's so easy to do. Now these, I cheated. I bought these at HEB, of course, and they're already done. You can find them in the bakery section. They're just these giant buttermilk biscuits. So you've got your warm, toasty waffles, or maybe you've gone with the 
super soft biscuits and turkey and cranberry on there. If you want, you could always drizzle a little maple syrup on top too. Okay, so in real time, this would have cooked about 25, 30 minutes. So we wanna check on it and see how it's doing. The main thing with this is to be sure you cook it long enough that the rice is nice and tender. Okay, my mushrooms are out of the oven. They were in there about 25 minutes and they look fantastic. They're just so easy. What I like to do for a little added extra color and a little flavor is I top them with what's left over of my cranberries. And guys, as you know, I could never end any segment. And of course I couldn't eat all this food without having a little wine to go with. And this is just one of my favorite Pinot Noir finds, Le Duc Noir. So here's cheers to you guys, Derek and Courtney. I miss you. I hope your holidays are fantastic. No doubt we'll see each other soon. Cheers.